So let's look at uh, gravity, shall we? Gravity is strong enough to hold the oceans to a spinning ball, yet weak enough that birds can still fly. Credits to J.M. This is what Isaac Newton said to Robert Hooke. I have not been able to discover the cause of those properties of gravity from phenomena, and I frame no hypothesis. For whatever is not deduced from the phenomena is to be called a hypothesis. And hypothesis, whether metaphysical or physical, whether of occult qualities or mechanical, have no place in experimental philosophy. So basically he's saying this is a philosophy, he cannot make a hypothesis, um, and so he didn't truly really believe in what he was saying about gravity. It is an assumption. And we can see again uh, in Wikipedia saying this under an assumption of constant gravitational attraction and so on. It is an assumption. And Newton knows it, knew it, and scientists know it. Okay? Gravity is an assumption. They want to explain something. And there is a greater deception why they want to make a theory of gravity, although it can be easily explained by density. So imagine this. You look at gravity and say it has a pulling power and um, the oceans are tons of water. And yet, even though the earth is spinning, right, it keeps the waters intact, stuck to it. But birds can fly and we can walk and we can jump and so on. Now, if I pull something, I pull a 10 kilo cart with the power, and I pull a 100 kilo cart with the same power, both cart will be pulled with the same power, okay? So if gravity pulls everything with the same power, how come that it doesn't affect the little bird or you when you're walking? Or gravity, as they think it is, is very intelligent. He knows when to give, when to pull with great power, when to pull with less power. That makes no sense whatsoever. So what you can see here is density. Because um, the density of the water is higher than air, so it goes down on a flat earth and the density of the bird is although um, higher than air but he since he spreads out his wings he can fly on the air it captures the air and the winds okay now look at the look at the football you try to throw up a, a football on the earth it will go down. Why? Even though the air uh, inside the ball has the same density as the air outside of the ball, but the leather covering the ball has higher density, so it will come down, it will fall down. Take that same ball to the water and it will float because the density inside the ball, the air, is lower density than the water. Try to take that same ball down underneath the water and it will float up if you release it. Why? Because um, again the air inside the ball is lower than the than the density of the water even though that there is this leather covering the ball the air inside is so um, lower of density that it comes up. Now take a helium uh, Luft balloon, balloon and release it and it will go up because the helium inside the balloon has lower density than air. It is simple density mechanics. This is what um, Newton also said in his letter to Bentley that one body may act upon another at a distance through a vacuum without meditation of anything else by and through which their action and force may be conveyed from one another is to me so great an absurdity, absurdity that I believe no man who has in philosophic matters a competent faculty of thinking could ever fall into it. In other words, he thinks that if, it, if space not, has no meditation of anything else, 
as um, scientist tells us that there is nothing, it's a vacuum. Newton says that two bodies, like the, the, the Earth and the Sun, couldn't act upon another, and to think that they can is a great absurdity. So, I mean, <clears throat> you, you think that this is true? I mean, how could these two bodies gravitate to one another? I mean, this is a hoax. And, and you can just read what uh, Newton says. Um, of course, they don't tell you this at school. He didn't believe himself. Um, he said it was an assumption. And um, he um, didn't think that this can work. Okay, so there is no gravity. It is all about density. And that's, that's about it. And density, this kind of thing, what we talked about, and if there is no, um, no gravity, then there is no globe. There is no globe because they want to try. try to, they try to tell you with this theory that that's why the waters and everything can stick to the ball, and you can stick to the earth and uh, not fall off because of gravity. But if there's no gravity, we know it there isn't, it's a hoax, but there is density, then can be a globe. Because in a globe, you would fall off, right? You would fall off. Uh, and so, that it can't be true. It is a hoax. The Earth is flat, there's no gravity. Gravity is a hoax. What we experience is density. And... Uh, I'm going to link this article in the description of this video.